Today is a pretty nice day for once. First in a long while. Sun's out. Good day. Today's workout is gonna be based on legs. We're gonna do some squats, do a heavy power lifting set, and then we drop down to do some leg extension, leg curls, basically a bodybuilding leg day after the power lifting.
Hips are tight, and after going this long trip over the weekend, a few hours to New Hampshire, a few hours back to work in Nairobi. Damn. On this turf, it's horrible on my knees, joints feel crappy, hips feel crappy, but nevertheless, we still pushed through and made the gains that were necessary to me. One of the touchiest topics that anybody can ever go on is diet and how it affects your day. Your diet is determined on your body type and what type of metabolism you have. So I generally don't get a meal in until after a workout. My workouts typically start at 11 and end at anywhere from 12 o'clock. It starts at 11 and ends at anywhere 2 hours after. Anywhere 2 hours in. So I can even start at 12 o'clock and end up at 3 o'clock. 2 and a half hours. My workout typically lasts because I do multiple parts. I typically try to do a power lifting set for each exercise that I do except when I'm doing shoulders. So like the big lifts, the squat, the deadlifts, I do those workouts before I do anything else. In terms of what I eat and how I eat, I don't really have a strict regime even though I watch what I put in my body. But in the same sense, I try to enjoy food as best as I possibly can. I don't eat a lot of fast foods unless it's maybe from a Jamaican restaurant or something like that. But I, don't, I typically do not eat fast food from all these fast food joints. If I do, I try to eat as healthy as I possibly can so maybe I'll get some Chinese food and again like I said Jamaican food for the most part I stick to those stuff I stick to the things that I know stick to the things that I like one of the things that gets to me is when people do crazy fad diets like juice diets water diets whatever the diets are taking pills water pills and all that stuff for me, a diet is anything that is life-changing. In order to make a drastic change in your life, dropping your weight, you also have to make a drastic change in your diet. And that drastic change has to be something that is lifelong, that will not only be for two weeks or four weeks. One thing that I do believe in is that people should eat food that they enjoy. With that being said, it doesn't necessarily mean pizza you can just have a slice me personally I don't eat cheese I don't eat egg and I don't eat pork I try to stay away from dairy stuff because it messes with my sinus and I stay away from it from the most part the only thing I may touch every now and again is ice cream but like I said every now and again it's not an everyday thing food that you enjoy you should enjoy it doesn't mean you should forge on it or eat 
a whole container. Ooh. Oh boy, it's grown. All right, so like I was saying, people eat and then they take the ten. They have the tendency to eat everything that's in front of them. You should eat until you get that feeling of full. And your stomach typically tells you when you are full, so you should listen to your stomach. Anyways, this video is coming to an end. If you like what you hear in this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Enjoy yourself.